What's up guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna replace this Career Caliper on this 2015 Accord. So I'll get the correct part first of all, and the procedure is pretty much similar, and at the end of the video, you, uh, I'm sorry, at the end of the job, you need to bleed the system, so make sure you do that. So anyways, let's uh, come take a look at, so this customer had me chain the brakes not too long ago, and I told him bad caliper because the first one ate the brakes. So within two months, this thing ate his brakes again, so, uh, Gotta do it again. Anyways, let's take a look at what we're looking at here. So pretty much, this is a very easy job to do. Uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna take a look. First, if you can see, it's been cutting his rotor. Last time he didn't want to change the rotor, uh, uh, the, the caliper, this time he doesn't want to change the rotor. So what we can do, we can't do nothing. Just uh, request the, as the request. Okay, there's a rotor I had one time on our Nissan. So don't get to that point. Look at this baby. I can't even get it out of there, I'm gonna just leave it there. Um, this side brakes are like brand new. The camera's not gonna pick up, but brakes are pretty good. We don't have to worry about that. Um, we are gonna change the pads though on both sides because they come as a set. A lot of mess there, ignore that. Anyways, to change this caliper, uh, you're gonna start to lose uh, fluid, so make sure you make this quick. A lot of people pinch the line, that's what I usually do, so it doesn't harm anything because it's all up to you. Whatever you think is good enough. Anyways, uh, we're gonna start this job and let me get some tools Okay, like I said first thing first uh, You got to pinch the line a little bit because you don't want to go crazy either because you'll cut the line So just make sure just enough where it squeezes I'm gonna go back a little bit and it doesn't let the uh, fluid flow any further I think that should be fair enough. So what I want to do is uh, I like to loosen this 14 millimeter on the line first of all and the reason why is because later on the caliper is out and it's, it's, you're going to try to hold the caliper and turn that. It's not going to come off. Anyways, uh, we're going to go down below next and we'll do everything one step at a time. So that was a 14 millimeter and this is a 12 millimeter wrench now. Um, this was a weiss that I used. So what we're going to do is right down here, right back here, you got this little guy right here on the E cable. I'm going to remove this to make my life very, very easy. So you could just fish it from right over here and a lot of people will take off the two bolts right there once the caliper is out but i want to take it off from right here that will make like i said it will make my life really really easy and let's talk once this baby is out and there it is so this cable should be loose I'm gonna put this bolt away. We're gonna come back out. Once this is loose, you should be able to push this caliper and get this out, but once the caliper is out, you should be able to remove that much, much easier. So I'm gonna pick up my tool one more time. And we're gonna take this guy off. We're gonna take out the 12 millimeter here. So it's two 12 millimeters on this caliper. I'm gonna take them both out. It's gonna come with new the only thing, I don't know if it's going to come with this new bracket here, the one I showed you with the 212 millimeter. Uh, we're not sure about that. But this baby will come off right here. So it's going to come with new bolts, new sliders, new everything. So as you can see, his, uh, his caliper is killing this brake. So let's put this to the side. And now we should be able to remove this caliper with a little bit of effort. But this cable is not going to allow us. So we're going to do one more thing, okay? We're going to remove the 12 millimeter on this cable right here. Kind of clockwise. Is the way to go. Oh, that dust. Do not breathe that dust in. That's matter particles. Here it comes. So this E cable should be pretty much loose. This is the same line that we removed the 12 millimeter in the bottom back there for. It's the same line. We're gonna save this because we're gonna reuse this bolt. So this should come off. And now our line should be much, much freer and maybe it will come off this caliper, maybe, maybe. And if not, we will continue with removing this caliper. Remember, it's gonna give us a difficult to remove this caliper as well. So now, let's see if I can remove it now from this caliper one hand is never a good idea but there you go uh we're gonna let this caliper just sit to the side here we're gonna replace this baby 
But right now, we need to make some moves. So check out the brakes here. Look at this, down to nothing. And check this out right here. Can't even get that off. Can't even get that out. Maybe I can pick up a tool here and get this off. But that could stay behind. So all we need to do is remove these two bolts here. They're 17 millimeters. So we're back with the 17 millimeter. So we're gonna pull down, okay? If you're looking right at it, counterclockwise, which is this way, rotation, meaning we're gonna pull this down. If you're looking right at it, righty tidy, lefty loosey, counterclockwise is loosey, clockwise is tidy. So we're gonna get this guy off, and then we're gonna remove the second bolt over there. These both bolts hold this bracket in. So once these are out, this bracket should start to move around. And some of these Hondas be having a washer here. So if this washer is there, pay attention to it on your vehicle. Make sure you put that back. And if you don't, your caliper uh, is not gonna probably align and your brakes might wear out a little bit uneven. There you have it, and almost out. So under 20 minutes, I removed this caliper, okay? And uh, I would say, take your time, even if it takes you like an hour and a half to do this job on a caliper, it's not a big deal. It's not end of the world. I actually got tools like you know i know what i'm doing here but some people when they're new when i was new i was slow at even turning the wrench okay i was this is what i was doing exactly you know turn 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 and i uh, i was scared at the same time but no need to be scared so there it goes this is what's left of this baby breaks down to nothing uh we got a new caliper coming so we all we need to take off this, there's two crush washers, one in here, one in the bottom. So between, uh, you'll see me put this back together. So I would bang out this rotor, put another rotor in, but the customer doesn't want it, but that's fine. But if you, all you have to do is hit it and this comes right off. But anyways, let's wait for the new caliper. Okay, so we got a new caliper. I got the box right here. So new gen is the brand and the part number for this is right there for you guys to know so inside the box you're gonna get the hardware it's gonna have shims and then um we got two that are metal brackets in there we'll do this whole thing together so over here uh great it comes all that together so these are all tight pretty tight so this little guy i'll uh, leave it on it has two little crush washers so we're gonna use these crush washers so just to let you know this caliper goes in this direction so this is see this valve is up on the top here if it's in the bottom it's a wrong caliper if you take this caliper put it on the other side first of all none of this is going to fit but some calipers don't have this you this bleeder valve will never bleed okay so make sure the bleeder valve is on the high end point there and uh that's how that goes so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this baby and put it on the two bolts go in and then we'll remove this and then uh put everything back together normally so let's get this job going so what I'm going to do here is uh, I can't take my camera back there because I have to hold this at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two 17 millimeter bolts. I'm going to just put them on. And once I have them on, we'll start to remove the caliper. And that's that. And I'm gonna catch the second one. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, once these are holding the uh, caliper in place, so I got the two bolts holding the caliper in place. So sometimes this will change the size here. So, yep, it's a 14 millimeter, now no longer 12 millimeter. So what we're gonna do here is, we're gonna take this off. We're gonna take this off. 
I want to usually I would take one off, but in this you got to take them both off because the caliper, the way it's designed, this little guy is gonna not allow us to do a lot of the stuff. So first, I still want to tighten the two bolts. So if you want to torque them, it's all up to you. You can torque them. Um, make sure you have the specs. My torque wrench is out of commission, um, but do that to best of your knowledge. Make sure it's nice and tight. Again, it's 17 millimeter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten these two bolts for this bracket. So let me do it by hand because one and this is two okay. all right so they're nice and tight we're gonna take the camera and start working on the rest of the stuff so we only tightened these two bolts right here and that's all we did so uh, the next few steps are kind of critical so first of all what we're going to do is uh, i'm a little confused myself what i want to do next because i could do anything i could put the pads in or start putting the caliper in so i think it'd be best for me to put the caliper back together so i'm going to grab the caliper okay so this thing is pretty easy so this will go into this housing right here just like that and it's like a hook and it goes in and your caliper sits just like that and we can manage to get the rest of this stuff later like i said one hand i just want to keep this caliper in position right now that's all i want to do right now and what we're gonna do is you know what let me get the second bolt also um i want everything to sit in the spot you know what uh, we can just finish out this brake job at least so i want to go get my some of my stuff i want to put the hardware here hardware here this customer doesn't want greasing so we're going to leave the greasing part out okay so this hardware goes in just like that i got a video on just how to do the hardware make sure that your hardware doesn't hit anything okay you want to take a flathead screwdriver just squeeze right in the middle to line everything so let me get this second one in and let me just get this in and then we'll continue in a moment so remember greasing would be very ideal here but the customer said no greasing because dust and stuff some people just get too smart greasing is important it's very important so what we got here is uh, some brakes so brake pad one with the sensor it goes on the back end and you could choose to put in the top or bottom uh, oh one thing i want to mention you see this slot on the caliper the slot has to go in here so if this slot is not perfectly uh lined here this little notch won't go in there so let's get this baby to go back sometimes these hardwares are kind of that's why i don't never remove uh, original hardware because the original hardware sticks better it goes in well and we can't even get this guy to sit properly in here there you go we got the pads in there we got the second pad in there so you see how it will move it'll make kind of noise greasing would be a very good idea here but uh customer said nope can't do much there so i'm not gonna lock up the bolts so make sure you tighten your bolts so it's a brand new caliper we don't need to worry about the greasing on the sliders and um we forgot one thing we forgot one thing okay we forgot this little retainer very important it goes in the bottom and the reason why it goes in the bottom is so the brakes can open and the caliper can slide right through and 
Okay, that's gonna be a little bit of trouble, but there you go. The little guy was forcing the brakes out. And that goes in, that goes in. So what I wanna do here is I'm gonna tighten both of the bolts. Nice and tight, okay, you cannot leave this stuff loose. Nice and tight and evenly. You don't want to go crazy either. Sometimes this will spin. You would have to hold that with the wrench, like a 16 or a 17 millimeter, whatever the size is. And this guy goes in next. Nice and tight. Now let's go to the bottom and then we'll come back out and put the brake line on and remove it from the old caliper. So this guy came out. We're going to try one more time. Temp it one more time. There you go. That's where it's going to sit, just like that. And now what we need to do is this shouldn't be really hard okay to get this guy to sit there just like that and then uh take that 12 millimeter bolt that we left on the ground and this baby is gonna have to catch the threads first so if you got two hands to use not like me one hand is never gonna be easy with one hand there you go got the bolt in and we'll lock up this. This is a 12 millimeter, and this is a 12 millimeter. So let's get our 12 millimeter here. We're gonna go in from the same spot. Remember, I'm looking right down here from the hub. I'm gonna lock up this bolt. And then we're gonna go up to the top, make sure it's nice and tight. You cannot leave this baby loose. nice and tight there you go let's go to the back end and remember we separated this bolt we left it to the side so this guy is going to sit on a the notch there there's a notch there this sits right there and what we're going to do is working with that camera and light in my hand but there you go nice and tight remember these bolts they don't get used up we're done we're gonna take this guy off I'm gonna put a bucket in the bottom and remember like I said the bleeder valve gotta be up high okay if it's down here it's not gonna work out because then you guys switch the sides but then none of this will fit but like I said some cars doesn't have this uh, e-brake cable system on it so we're gonna put this over here we'll come right back okay guys so nearly at the end double check all your work all the bolts two bolts two bolts this guy the bolt for the back and one on the over there that's all we took apart so far and make sure your brake pads are both in and make sure your caliber bleeding valve is up so it's time for us to remove this valve here so remember we pre-loosened it and uh shouldn't give us that difficulty to take this off you see that so you see this letter, the, there's a notch here. This, this notch has to go into that little hole right there, right next to the, where the bolt goes in. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna slowly take this off. You're gonna start to see fluid come out and hold this caliper and see how the fluid didn't come out, a lot of fluid because we got the caliper on lock. Um, what we're gonna do here is, you always 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 want to clean this area okay nice and clean okay all right so crush washer the bolt another crush washer down here and it's like a sandwich and this guy goes in and this guy has to line there and this might be 11 millimeter now so i'm gonna have to go get 11 millimeter because 12 might not fit on it okay 
Yep, 12 don't fit in it, so let me go get it. 11 millimeter. So you see how simple I made that? Not a big mess or anything like that. I made this job really simple and easy. Very critical you torque this, but uh, like I said, my torque wrench is out of commission. So I'm gonna tighten this to the best of my knowledge. And uh, when you're bleeding, make sure it doesn't leak here. It doesn't leak through there. Once it's tight, make sure you bleed it and make sure you remove the whites there. Uh, make sure it doesn't leak here. Clean and look, double check, triple check. And this is done and ready to go. So I'm gonna have my friend help me bleed. That's the part you're not gonna see. So pump, pump, pedal, and open this wall. Pump, pump, pump. Well, pump, pump, remove this, you will hear pssst. And then have them pump, pump again until this caliper compresses. Open this valve and um, a bleeding, air, all the air should be coming out of the system. The pedal shouldn't feel spongy and that's how you're gonna do that. That is the last part, okay? Do not send this car out. Do not start the car until you bleed it, okay? And make sure you open the reservoir cap and I'll put fluid in it and make sure it's up to level. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like, and there you have it. 2015, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 Honda Accord caliper, easy to do job. Thank you for watching my video.